So this is my first video tutorial. Um, my name is Max. I specialize in charcoal pencils. Um, I do a lot of portraits mainly, but sometimes I'll venture off and do other things. Um, I thought it'd be easier if I make video tutorials as opposed to drawing for five minutes, stopping, scanning, taking a photo, and doing another drawing for five minutes, stopping, taking a photo, and then having to describe what I'm doing in words. So uh, it'd be a lot easier if I just show you. Um, this is the first time I'm actually kind of recording myself, so it feels kind of weird. Anyway, um, I thought maybe I should start off with my first video with uh, the supplies I use. So the tools I use. Um, the main thing I do use, of course, is uh, charcoal. So this is a uh, it's I think it's by generals yeah general um, it's primo euro charcoal pencils um, it comes in a pack of four uh, usually in a um, this one's a 3b I believe it's an HB and a 6b no 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 I lied huh I lied it's HB B and 3b and also a white charcoal pencil which I despise to no end. I have no idea how to use it. If you find it useful, use it. For me, no, I do not like it. Um, it actually gives a kind of a tint. Um, it's not exactly white. So I kind of just leave it in my little pencil box. Um, but anyway, I do use um, the other pencils though. Um, I tend to like the uh, HB more because it's um, more harder so I can do more um, detailed uh, details and textures so very good very good pencils um, I also use brushes um, I like to keep handy um, a flat brush an angle flat brush and kind of a smallish round brush. I don't know anything about brushes so I couldn't give you specific names. So this one says an 8 flat, um, half an inch flat angular, and a 4 round. And I guess they're for acrylics. But anyway, they're just cheapy brushes so um, they're handy. Um, I also use Q-tips very handy. Um, I use Portillans. I keep quite a few packs of these. Um, I heard you can make your own. Um, so if you can, you have the time for it, go for it. Me, personally, I have no time. So I just buy them. They're a couple bucks a pack. Um, I do use cheapy disposable sharpeners. Um, I have a little styrofoam plate here where I keep the shavings, um, but yeah, I use, I'll use i use it for one or two drawings and then I dump them. Um, tea strainer, very important for you to uh, shave your charcoal with. Um, all I do is rub the lead in there and right there you got powdered charcoal. Um, let me see what else. Um, Oh, frisket film. I buy them in rolls um, because I go through so much of it. Uh, you can buy them in sheets. I've seen them, or I used to buy them in sheets, but I haven't seen them in stores in a long time. Um, I usually just order them online. Um, you can also buy them from uh, body shops where they do car detailing. They tend to have vinyl sheets too. And they come in colors. Um, I like the, of course, the clear ones so I can see what I'm lifting off. Um, oh, the kneaded eraser, of course. You have to have a kneaded eraser. It's amazing what this thing can do. Um, fixative, I use workable fixative. Um, I did use permanent at one point and I just didn't like how it sat on my drawings. Um, but workable, it's not so 
I guess, a commitment. You know, when you have it permanent, it's it's a commitment. You know, that's it. You put that layer on, you're done. With workable, you can still work on top of it. You can't change what's under it, but you can still work what's on top of it. Um, paper, I usually buy a block, a watercolor block. I like to use Arches watercolor paper, 120 pounds or 140 pounds. Um, Arches, yeah, Arches watercolor paper. Um, it's too big for me to put it under the webcam. Uh, let's see. Oh, a vinyl cover. Um, I cut one off of a five-star notebook. Um, I use this to to hold, I guess, a layer in between the surface of my drawing and my greasy hands, dirty hands, whatever. Um, it's amazing. I love it. Um, I've had this since I first started drawing in 2004, and it's still holding up. And they're really easy to clean. Just run it under the water with some soap. Easy, easy to clean. And um, I think they they work better than people. I've seen people use just regular printing paper, but paper can still absorb water and oils. So this, this will definitely cover, cover your surface. Um, what else do I use? Um, I think that covers the main things. Um, but yeah, oh, and I hoard a lot of gift wrap paper, so I would suggest you, you know, like around Christmas time or whatever, when they, when things go on sale right after Christmas, buy a lot of gift wrap paper. I use that to cover the back of my, um, paper, my drawing paper itself. That way I don't get random smudges and stuff on the back. And then when you're done spraying it, you can just peel it off. So that's a suggestion. And I use um, artist tape. Um, you can also use drafting tape. Um, it's not so abrasive on the surface of your paper. Um, and, but it's, it is kind of expensive. I think this roll is about 12 bucks a roll. Um, but a little gold goes a long way. So um, I would suggest using this as opposed to like, you know, uh, masking tape. Uh, masking tape tends to be a little more abrasive on your paper. Okay, um, let's see. I think that's about it for the main things that I use. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. And like I said, this is my first video, so it's kind of weird having to hear myself talk. Um, I don't like to be under the camera, so you won't see pictures of me or videos of me. My, you know, you'll just see my hands mainly. Um, but yeah, um, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave some comments or message me. You know where to find me. All right, thank you guys.